Mad Money is a brilliant episode of Full House. This is the 21st episode of the first season, directed by Jeff Franklin. And there are various different points to the narrative that I love. So as always, I will go through the various different aspects, mention things that I love, things that I didn't like. There wasn't anything about this that I didn't like. So there will be spoilers from this point on. I did want to put the thing with Jesse in the thumbnail, but there is a mystery revolving around what's in Jesse's bag. And I didn't want to give the game away just in case somebody hasn't seen the episode. But I'll talk more about that in a moment. So there will be spoilers from this point on. And I guess I'll get in with Jesse's narrative. Jesse keeps sneaking home every day with a bag. And everybody wants to know what's in this bag, but he's not giving the game away. And I loved that. There was this mystery element and the mystery didn't last for too long. We found out, I'd say before the halfway mark, I didn't time it, but we found out relatively quickly that he was dressing up as Elvis to do a tribute act and he needs the money. It's fair enough. And we get to see him perform and John Stamos just gives this amazing performance as Elvis. Now, I don't like tribute acts. I don't care for them. I think they're a little bit weird, to be honest, but his performance was fabulous. He looked amazing. As I said, I did kind of want to put it as the thumbnail for this, but I didn't want to give things away. But John Stamos absolutely stole the episode with his amazing performance. Mary Kane and Ashley actually had a chance to give a great performance as well. I'm not entirely sure. I still, despite the fact I've basically worshipped them since I was about eight years old, I still can't quite work out which is which when they're this age. But one of them gets a cookie from Jessie's bag and just the audience applauding Michelle when she found the cookie, the look of pride on Michelle's face when she found it. It was just a beautiful moment. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, we also have a story revolving around $800 because it turns out that Joy has come into a, a little bit of money, $5,000, not insignificant. And he buys everybody presents, which was really lovely. But Danny suspects that Joey will give him back the $800 he loaned him, I think, 11 years ago, if I remember rightly. And... Joey is completely unaware of this. He's forgotten all about it. So he gets Danny a kind of joke gift, a gift that I personally would have loved, but he doesn't give Danny the money. And Danny brings this up. And Joey, I think Joey responded in a very reasonable way. And things go back and forth between them. And it's unclear who's going to end up with his money by the end of the episode. I liked how that part of it played out. But what I loved most is the exchange between the two of them where they both showed that actually the value of their friendship is worth so much more than money, so much more than $800, and that they're both there for each other when they need them. And it was beautiful. And then, of course, it ended with humour, with Joey repeatedly unmaking his bed, and uh, it was it was very well done, and, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. A brilliant episode. We also have some pretty good performances from DJ and Stephanie, uh, Candace Cameron and Jodie Sweet, and they did their own little Elvis impressions which was pretty sweet. So everybody gave a great performance. Everybody had a chance to shine. And the story just flowed really beautifully. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's the penultimate episode of the first season. So I'm very nearly done with rewatching season one, which is quite sad, but I'm looking forward to getting into season two, particularly because we get more involvement from Michelle. And I love Michelle. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, but definitely a really brilliant episode. One that I'm pretty sure... I'll always absolutely adore.